Simon and I went to um, Hamburg to choose from three pianos and we listened carefully to all three of them. They were lined up uh, side by side and after a while we swapped them around to um, listen to them in, in different positions because one position might favour one piano. After a while we choose the one that is sitting here today. It's a lovely piano, I think, with a nice low end and a very nice singing top end. And uh, still a powerful top end that is quite rare on, on uh, some of the pianos we record. And we were looking for a very uh, versatile piano as well, one, one which could, you know, fulfill the role of a, of a standard concert music. Yeah and also one that could be recorded very intimately and closely um, because we do all sorts of genres in this particular studio you know not just classical but we do jazz and we do pop and rock and light music so we need a piano that could really cope with all those uh, all those requirements and uh, the quality is very important because as soon as you put the microphones very close to the piano um, then it really shows up all the flaws all the little considerations like evenness and non noise free you know from the, from the from the dampers very important considerations because yeah. they can they can ruin a recording you know, if you're not careful it's going to work brilliantly in here because it's uh, you know it's a very versatile piano and um, we need a we need something which can can project and also be played very quietly as well you know and um, Yamaha's got a very distinctive quality especially when they're played very quietly I've been watching Yamaha pianos for years, I think. Um, you know, we've both had experience of recording them over the last sort of 15, 20 years. Um, and this, this new piano has got some, um, you know, you can see the development and the love and, the, and all the expertise that have gone into making it. You know, there's, there's very little choice at that end of the market. 